welcome to our grannyenchanted.com Valentine tutorial or quick page tutorial if you will on Pixlr. So today I'm going to show you these cute valentines that I made for you. This is a 4x6 print. It has two spaces for two separate pictures. You would be printing it and cutting it in half so that it makes two little valentines cards to go on top of the little Valentine's treats that you send to school with your children. I have some with really bad jokes and I have some that are blank. I'm going to show you how to use them in Pixlr. So this would be the page that you would find one of them on right here. It's a PNG file. Because it is so small, I'm not going to send you to Google Docs for this. We're going to acquire this PNG image by left clicking the image to enlarge and right clicking the image to save as. So let's just do that right now. Left click and here it is enlarged. Right click, save image as. And we'll come here to picture file. I have a Pixlr video tutorial file and I'm just going to save it. all saved. So now I'm going to come over into Pixlr.com. P-I-X-L-R.com. This is similar to Photoshop. It can't do as much as it can in Photoshop. I've never created scrapbook supplies here, but it has a lot of impressive features and it's just as good as some of the lower quality scrapbook programs. So we're going to come here, open Pixlr Editor. I use Advanced. Don't let the word Advanced scare you. It's pretty easy. I'm going to open an image from my computer. So the image I'm going to open is the Valentine. We just saved. Here it is. And then I am going to come up here to this bar. You see it is a little similar to Photoshop. We're going to choose Layer. And then I'm going to open an image as a layer. And I'm just going to put my picture in here. I'm sure your kids are cuter than the doll I made, but here's my granny doll picture. And I need to resize it to fit in this window. So what I'm going to do is make sure on the right hand side of the screen that I'm on that layer with the granny picture. I'm going to come over here to edit and I'm going to choose free transform. That selects my picture. And now I can drag and drop and shape and bring it over here make sure it covers this hole in my frame and I'm done so I'll, I'll click somewhere off of the picture it's going to ask me if I want to apply the changes yes I do then over here on the right hand side of the screen I'm going to move that layer zero the layer with the quick page valentine on it and just drag and drop it above and so now we see my granny enchanted picture and I'm going to make a little message at the bottom. I'm over here on the left hand side. We're going to do text. And I will click. And for text, I'm going to use AR Christie. I like that one. And for the color, so it shows up, I'm going to choose white. OK. And I'm just going to type Happy Valentine. Love Granny Enchanted. And I can see here that I'd like it bigger, so I'll come down here to size and slide this. And you can kind of see how big we can make that. And I'm going to come up here to the left hand side and get the move tool and come over here and move my text around. And now I have that one. Then I'm going to go ahead and Come up here to the granny picture and get on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to select that layer. Right click, duplicate the layer. Now I've got two granny pictures, one on top of another, and so I'm going to drag this one down here behind. And it looks like she could be a little smaller there. So once again, image or edit, free transform, and change her size a little bit. Make her skinnier, maybe. And then I'm going to come over here, tilt it. 
and apply the changes, yes. And then I'm going to come back up here to the text layer on the right hand side, happy Valentine's Day. And I am going to right click and duplicate it because I am lazy. And now I'm still on the move tool. I'm going to move this down. Oh, but Granny, it's white and it doesn't show up. You know, you are absolutely right. It doesn't show up. So we're going to click on the text, come over here and click on the words. And it's going to let me edit that again for the color. I've got a dropper tool. See, this dropper tool isn't that neat. I think it looks great with this color right there. And I'm going to choose OK. This one's not going to be as big. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to come here up in my text. Maybe move the log around and tend it down. Let's see how that looks. There's our move tool. We'll grab the words. Happy Valentine's Day, love Granny Enchanted. Okay, so now I'm done. I can send Granny Enchanted to elementary school to give away her Valentines after we print them out and cut them up and stick them on boxes of little hearts. I need to save it. So we're going to go layer at the top here and come down and flatten image. This is going to enable us to file and save. And we're going to not save it as a PNG. I just find when I'm printing images, it's more difficult for me to print a PNG image in most places than a JPEG. So I'm changing this to a JPEG. I'm going to click OK. And we'll put it in here. And we'll see. We'll call it Granny's Valentine Card. Now I can send that over to Costco or Walmart or take it over on a little hard drive and print that out for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you enjoyed this Pixlr tutorial. What you need to know about Pixlr, it's really not much. It's free. It's hosted online. It doesn't take up room on your computer. It's easy if you're using my supplies to drag and drop and get things in there and move them around and make your quick pages or make your own original pages. It's a wonderful program. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching this GrannyEnchanted.com tutorial. I appreciate all of your support.